welcome to Blade Runner 9732. Uh, this is a game slash experience uh, for all the Blade Runner fans out there. Uh, where you basically get to go and experience a little bit more in depth the world of Blade Runner, specifically Deckard's apartment. So in this experience you go and you can go into Deckard's apartment, have a look around and see all the stuff, how he lived and kind of get a little bit immersed. Uh, it's made by one guy, uh, Quentin Lengel. Uh Sorry if I missed your name up. But uh, I'll link everything in the description for you guys to try out. But um, the general idea is we're going to go in, check it out. This is my first time. We'll go in, check it out, and get some initial sort of reaction and experience to it. Um, yeah, so I mean, we're just going to jump in. So let's go check out Deckard's apartment. Here we go. Voice print identification. Your floor number, please. Decker at 97. 97, thank you. Okay, so here we are. In the lift, going up to my apartment. 97. <laughs> Okay, so I've never, I never played this before, so this is my, also my first reactions. Um, Nothing useful. I might as well try. <laughs> Even anybody can't go in anyway. But so this is Deckard's apartment. Um, it's it's in a few scenes in the movie. Um, some really iconic scenes. Um, hopefully, we get to have a closer look at that. Um, but yeah, I actually didn't know the number of his apartment until hearing about this little game, um, which is pretty cool. I wonder if the word numbers have meaning. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go. Let's just go straight in. Uh, or straight away. It's Deckard's jacket, which is pretty famous in itself. Bad day. Uh, over here, do we have anything interesting? Um, just some paperwork stuff. So the interesting thing about the Blade Runner universe is it's like a mix of like future, like 80s futuristic Western and Asian architecture and design. You have a lot of uh, Asian influence. I need to find Rachel. But it's almost in a Western world. All right, here we go. So this is Deckard's apartment, and the main thing I can see, oh, what was that? Is whiskey bottles. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go. Let's just check it out. Let's have a little look. It, I mean, it's funny though that there's no light switch because. Oh, okay, that's that's to lay down. No light switch, so I'm walking around my own house. I mean, I, I'm, I guess I'm Deckard because I've got the voice of Deckard. I'm walking around my own house with a flashlight because I'm trying to save money on my electric. But then I left everything on. It's weird. All right, that's what we have here. This is, I guess, this is his desk. Um. Let's see if anything stands out. There's a letter there, can't read. Uh, nothing really stands out. To anything notable. There's the. Oh, is that a. Oh, it, that looks familiar, like it's a. A bottle of something, I'm not sure. But there's a. So this is the original. Uh, is this one of those. Is this one of those video phones? It's almost like the original Skype slash you know, FaceTime as we use it today. Um, I guess this is. Oh, just a kind of nice chair. Um, more whiskey. I can't remember I if, this, if this is the same design or the same brand that's in 2049. Because there was a whiskey bottle in 2049 that was quite famous. The design. And there was like a limited run of, run of those being sold. Uh, what do we have over here? Hmm. Pepsi. See, that's weird. It's weird that there's a Pepsi bottle. Because this movie was kind of famously had Coke. Uh, ads in it. Um, this is Bad day. an Esper machine. Uh, is this the thing that he does the where he scans the photo and he finds the girl? I'm not sure. Um, how should I go about exploring this? I guess I might just do a loop and I'll come in the middle. We go over here. This is a kind of like That's a cocktail. I like a cocktail. Oh, that's, no. that's to lay down, that's really weird. I can crouch. Ah, there we go, I can crouch. Okay, so this is like a cool cocktail table. Um, 
Another little table, some books. Uh, I'll go around. I'll go into the kitchen as well. What do we have here? I don't know who this girl is. I feel like she's a famous actress. But I can't put my name on who. Just random rubbish and whiskey bottles left around. Um, what else do we have? I'll, maybe I'll do this bit on the way out. Um, okay, so Deckard's kitchen. Uh, not much in. I need a drink. That looks like a camera. <laughs> Not many, not much, not much, not much. All well, looks pretty clean, to be fair. Uh, what do we have here? Coffee, maybe. Um, okay, so this right here, this is has to be a reference to um, the Philip K. Dick uh, book, uh, "To Androids Dream of Electric Sheep," and it's it's the start of uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Where in 2049, Kay comes in and he sits down and there's a, a pot of food boiling on the stove. And that's that's how I think the that book originally started. And that book is what is is what Blade Runner is actually based off of. So that's a cool little reference. I don't know if everyone would catch that. But that's what that is, I think. Um, what do we have in here? Some, some milk, some beers. Um, yep, so that's the... I'm trying to find it, I'm just always checking them, I mean you never know if something's hidden. Kind of like this, you know. Uh, so we'll keep looking. I might go, actually I'll do a loop of the, the room. Um, I don't know if this has any meaning. The rhino. It's kind of odd. I don't know, I don't know if it's referencing something. What do we have on the table? Uh, ashtrays, whiskey bottles... Uh, some random stuff. Oh, that's the thing. That is the Esper machine that uh, Deckard scans the photo with. Oh, we'll go have a look at that in a minute. Um, this looks like a crazy futuristic laptop thing, which is pretty cool. What do we have here? A lot. Uh, Alright, uh, what is this picture? <laughs> what is that? Bad day. Oh, that's really weird. When I first looked at this picture, I thought this was a big head, but like a big alien dwarfed head, and like this was like a. But now looking at it, that's the girl's face. <laughs> uh, that picture is really weird. I told Brian I quit. I don't know if any of these pictures are anything huh. in reference. Or oh, they look kind of like stock retro pictures. Oh, what's that picture there? Oh, I don't know. So there's the blaster, Deckard's famous blaster. I wish I could get closer. Maybe later. Um, and this is obviously the piano. I think in the movie, um, I can't remember, but I think Rachel plays the piano, or he does. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens in the movie, but it's, I think it's the scene where he gets beaten up and he comes back and he's drinking and she's there. And I have a feeling someone plays the piano, but I can't remember, I can't remember who. So one thing to note is that there is a, a voiceover in the background, which I'm kind of talking over, but I did read on the on Quentin's blog that he had a friend um, add some voice lines uh, for Deckard, which I think is pretty sweet because it does make it feel a little bit more immersive. Um, and they do sound quite a lot, quite a bit like Deckard, which is quite cool. Um, so let's have a look in here. I need to find Rachel. He needs to find Rachel. What's this? Just some torn up crap. Um, this is weird. Why would you have a light on your chair? Is that a thing? Is that for? A th I don't remember that in the movie. A big light on the chair. I don't remember that at all. Um, so this is the Esper machine. Um, I guess we'll give it a go. Don't know what's gonna happen. Um, but this is the machine that he looks at the video. Uh, not the video. He scans the picture and figures out what's going on. So I'll just I'll hit this and let it see what happens. Where's that whiskey? Yeah. 
Enhanced 224 and 176. Bad day. It's always raining. Move in. Stop. Pull out track right. Stop. Center and pull back. I need a drink. Stop. Track 45 right. Stop. Center and stop. Where's my blaster? Wow. So yeah, that is that is like almost the full scene for when he is um he discovers this girl. Um, I didn't see anything come out, but I heard it. But no, that's that's really that's really cool. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll keep moving. This is the back. I need a drink. Yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder how hard it, it must be hard. To, to make these objects but um yeah no really really well made alright let's explore that oh oh wow I need to find Rachel what does this do? nothing here oh cool I can close the uh Maybe close the blinds so I see out there there's the the, the, the famous balcony I'll um I'll save that for last, maybe. Um, let's just keep going. What do we have in here? What's this? What is this? Is that a radio? It's upside down, whatever it is. Hi, oh, Sonic. I can't read it. So it looks cool. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, toilet. Oh, okay. So, what do we have here? It's National Geographic. Fun. Making robots human. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder what that's from. Is that from a an actual National Geographic? I wonder. Uh, I don't see anything in here. Keep going. Is this a picture Where's my of? blaster? Where's my blaster? Ah, oh, there's a, a face. Ah, there's another one of those things. Oh, I bet it's like a... Yeah, it must be a radio thing. I bet it's like a kind of whole apartment audio entertainment thing. I told Brian Towels. Very bright light. Ah, here we go. There's the a bloody towel, I guess. So I guess this is kind of supposed to be set after he got beaten up. Um, what's this? The cosmic grip of dark I energy. Need to find Rachel. Who's that? For? Who's that? Who's that? Is that the... Uh, who's that person? Is that the guy who made them the game? 
If so, that's pretty funny. Hmm. Um, what else do we have in here? Anything interesting? Hmm. I don't think so. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's really funny. This thing here, you it's can buy rain. these at like IKEA. So I wonder if that was in the movie or whether the detail is it's amazing. If, if whether this is from the movie or whether he added this because it looks futuristic, but you can legit buy those from IKEA, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what do we have here? Where's my blaster? There's nothing there I don't think to think about. But pretty cool. I don't think there's anything out here, is there? Bookshelf. No. Okay, so this is the bedroom. What do we have here? Let's have a look. Bad day. This is one of those weird laptops. I don't know what this is, but it looks it looks cool. I wish there was a Void Comp machine just kicking around. That would be that'd be pretty interesting to see. Um Hmm. More whiskey. Anything interesting up here? Chair. So there's a little machine here. Um, not sure what it is. Doesn't say anything. It's always raining. I love the detail in the in the 3D objects, though. Really cool. Ah, see this. This is cool. This is a disassembled. Uh, Deckard's blaster, which is really interesting. Wow, where's that whiskey? Five bullets. I love the bar. The blaster is such a. I would like a model of that. Actually, that would be really cool. Again, more pictures. Like th that picture there. Bad that day. does not look. That looks like a damn giant mutant, and like this is an arm. That's like the shoulder. And this is like a big mutant weird head. That's all I can see when I look at that. I don't know what that is. But it's weird. <laughs> what do we have here? Nothing. Oh, I can't remember the name of that picture, but it's a it's a very famous, very famous picture. Um, uh, I'm not sure what kind of person has a, a server room in their bedroom. But can I see anything interesting on here? Uh, I don't see anything. It's just like a, it's almost just like a bias screen, isn't it? What about this one? Uh, I don't see anything. I need a drink. Again, okay. pretty weird server room, but one thing I will notice is the cable management in this server room is very good compared with most servers I've seen in my life. Um, not much here. There's another one of those video phones. Bad day. Uh, the bed. I don't remember if we saw this in the movie. This room, but um, it perfectly fits in to the rest of the house. Apart from this thing, it's kind of weird. But um, no, if you, if you create that yourself, that's pretty cool. Well, what's this? Oh, blinds <laughs> the blind. <laughs> Why is there no torches? Why is there not a light switch? Why do I have to use a torch in my own house? Anyway, right, so this is, all right, so already, just wow. This is the balcony now. Let's go have a little look. My whiskey bottle. All right, I'm just gonna shut up and just, maybe just take in this scenery for a little bit. I should call it. How amazing is this to be able to stand on Deckard's balcony? I think this is a perfect place to end the video. So, thanks for watching. I'll leave a description for everything down below um, the Blade Runner, uh, this game's website, and uh, Quinton's blog. Um, but yeah, really, really well made. Really cool. I hope you kind of 
I don't know if he's still working on it, but I hope he kind of expands it. I don't know if he can add what he can add. Maybe some other locations. Um, but yeah, amazing mod, amazing game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, and I will see you in the next one.